Hello, this is Chuck. We are playing, uh, probably, I, I believe this is, no, this is not. I just see another game. <laughs> but I, let's just say this is my second last copy, my physical copy of a game I have. Um, this game is called The Experiment, also originally known as Ex Experiment 112. I originally, they came out in 2006. Seven or 2008 depending on which country you're from so this game is basically 10 years old um, I've had to choose a very interesting I had to choose this resolution um, because this game does have subtitles and while I did have the option to go for 1920-1080 uh, unfortunately the subtitles were super small it was really hard to read so, and I can't, it's like, and then if I go any smaller, the subtitles are going to go off the screen. So this is the best, whoopsies, <laughs> sorry, as I apparently pressed something on my phone. Uh, this is the best resolution that I think works out for the subtitles. Otherwise, the cuts, the beginning cutscene, uh, I'm trying to remember because I like did the video testing before I went on vacation, but I believe there is some screen tearing. Couldn't figure out how to resolve it. I mean, a lot of options, but not all the options. So, either way, let's get started with this game where we have a slightly different mechanics. Considering where our character, us, is uh, situated in the game.
Leah, if you're reading this letter, it means you've survived. A terrible event. Everything destroyed. My head... My head hurts. I can't remember anything. The camera is on. That means the security system. Someone is there. Behind. Who's looking at me? What was that noise? Who's there? John! John, is that you? Well, what happened here? Everything is broken. This mist and these plants everywhere. Who are you? The camera didn't follow me when I moved from room to room. I don't think you know how to use them. Can I trust you? Miss, we can... can we move the camera yet? No. I need you anyway. Listen, you're in the surveillance booth. You have to enter a code to enable the system. The code is Eden. E-D-E-H-N. Enter it. Okay, so I think soon we'll be able to resume control. But yes, we are the person behind the camera. I sure say cameras, plural. Eden? I think that's how she said it. Uh, I should say, obviously I played this game before, considering I bought this Did you get the code? Or so. Eden. Yeah, I got it. Shh, I'll shh. spell it. E-D-E-H-N. Um, I remember the, how the game ends, but I completely forgot that this is how the game... Thank you. Your cameras. Oh, thank you. I'm not the only one on this darn ship. Aha! A diode is lit. Green. That means the program is initializing. Good. I don't have time to overview the security system. But if you want to help me, you'll need to learn how to use the camera's basic functions. Follow my instructions and everything will be okay. okay sorry. What do you see on the screen? Is I... the camera tab active? Click on it, please. It will reset everything to zero. Okay, sorry for interrupting. I was expecting the game to pause, but it doesn't actually pause. She just... Oh, this is Master. Global. Okay. Sorry, the voice was just way too good. loud in my ears. Is the camera menu displayed? No? What a... Very good. Perfect. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. The system doesn't appear to be very stable. Okay. Only the rotation upgrade is installed correctly. Better than nothing. You can install the cameras of your choice. They'll become mobile and will pivot in all directions. Let's try it immediately. Okay. Click on the rotation button to upgrade all the cameras. Or, if you prefer, slide the icon onto the camera window with the mouse. I'm waiting, all right? To control the camera, left-click on the mouse and move it. Yes, it's working. The camera moved. So there is someone there. But who are you? Are you the base personnel? Not yes with the camera if you are. No? You're not base personnel? So, who are you then? Military? You're with the army, right? Listen, we can't stay in this room. I have to know what happened. But I need you to help in guiding me. You'll help me. Look. The system saves all the base area maps. Click on the Maps tab in the left-hand column. Okay, that's the map for the area in which I am. The buttons under the map let you display the cameras and doors. You can use these now. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Man. Sinister in here. Looks like a war zone. 
You enable the cameras? Perfect. Every area is isolated from the base and has their own circuits. It's a security measure. Same thing here. The camera needs to be enabled. Can't see anything. Oh, where are you going? I can't even see you from camera three. You're already underneath. Huh, that's weird. Someone cut off the main power switch. I thought she said that this will... Fit all the cameras. This one, nothing here. Okay, I'm trying to follow this girl, but this is... Still nothing? Must be the moisture. The network didn't survive it. Try to enable the light function anyway. What light function? Okay. It's simple. Click on the light button and on the red point in area UD02. Okay, sorry. I, there's so many windows. I think this is the hard part is that I'm going to get very, uh... Back. Wait, it works. How come the switch didn't? Someone must have hacked the network. Why? Hmm, this light. I have an idea. If you want me to target a particular room, light it up and I'll go to it. All right, nothing interesting here. Oh, this one's on the ground. Can we turn around to the other side? Can she see from there? She can. Okay, stop this. And we can increase... At the end of the hall is the door to the laboratories. We must open it. Okay. After... Is there a shortcut key for closing these, uh... Windows? Okay, laboratory. You know, the thing said that it will activate, it should update to all the cameras, didn't it? I don't understand why it didn't. Unless she meant like, oh wait, do I? Hmm. Okay, either way, you're there. Give me click. Uh, what was that? Why'd you make that noise? What's going on? Something must be blocking it. Oh, there's a person. I was wondering who was, who made that. Use sound. the cameras. There must be one behind this door. Well, I yeah, it's. In what way should I be using the camera? You can't see anything with the camera either. Uh, yes, Too I dark, can. I guess. No, I can. We need the night vision add-on. It might be in John's office. Are you kidding me? There's clearly someone right there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna small screen this. John's office, you say? Uh, <coughs> whose office is John's, though? If I click this, will you know to go? 
Okay, she's walking away. Can we lock this? Let's lock that in place. Keep this here. Okay. Uh, I don't know which one is John's office, so... The weird part is she's asking me to direct her, right? She says maybe it's in John's office, yet <laughs> she can't do it herself. <laughs> okay, clearly I went to the wrong place. John's office... Well, maybe it was this place. Okay, opening... John isn't here. I wonder what happened to him. You should look around. There might be some interesting things. Hey, what are you doing? I get it. Another one of John's gadgets. Actually, I actually meant to click the camera, but it just so happens. What is turning on and off? Something's turning on and off. Just, I can't see it from this angle. <laughs> Oh. I see. Alright. It's a night vision add-on for the camera. Let's install it on the system. Sweet. I can't tell if it's working yet. John wasn't really careful with his things. There. The add-on is installed. Can you- Excellent. This will be very useful. Since we're on the computer, listen- I don't know you very well yet, but so far, I have no complaints. You seem trustworthy. I feel like our fate on the ship is tided. In a way, we're a team. If we want to get anywhere, we'll need to set some goals and write them somewhere. Here, I'll create a new tab in the main menu. The first objective could be mastering the security system, the cameras and all that. What do you think? And the second, the second is a little special. I can't tell you everything about the base and the research that happens here. It's too early. Know this. I am really tired. My life might be in danger. Only one thing could fix me up. It's a chemical substance. Hydroxide oxydrin. I desperately have to inhale some. So this is the second objective. Find some hydroxide oxygen and administer it to me, okay? Oh, I forgot. I enable the emergency feature. That's the main menu button I named Help. If you click on it, I'll know you need help, and I'll try to respond to you. Okay, let's take this away. Okay, so as we saw when I turned on the brightness setting in all the cameras, the guy... Uh, I guess the, the camera must make some sort of indicator because he knew and uh, took a flu made a run for it. Alright, you opened it. Thanks. This is the Chemical Ecology Laboratory. Help navigate me, please. I used to know my way around, but I don't recognize very much anymore. This looks like a washroom. Okay. Uh... To lead me somewhere, turn on a light I or know. an object, Let and I'll move towards it. Let me familiarize myself with this area first. Calm yourself.
Rise and shine. Hey, yo, I'm busy. Oh, that's a terrible angle for me. The bleakery is flooded. Nothing to do here. Uh, uh... Come here, we'll be safe. What are you doing about the cameras? Cameras in a bleakery? Everywhere, I tell you. Tomorrow's the big day, Leah. I'm scared, you know. All those others. I'm not like them. I know it. I'm going there, but I'm coming back. Promise? Promise. Okay, anything here? So she got a memory, which we were able to see, I guess. Uh, there is... The area... There's an area back here. So, let's turn on this camera. That's the boiler. Not much left of it. Should I take a look anyway? Whoa. This camera's malfunctioning. <laughs> okay, I was wondering, like, are you gonna do anything? A key. I don't know what it's for, but let's keep it in case. Sweet, we got a key. Okay, I say we head on out. Okay, that's for the stairs. Let's not go up yet. Can she see? Okay, I was about to ask. Can she... So, let's see. We have... Anything here? Okay, there's something... Turn off these cameras. I think in here. There's a dead person in here. <sighs> and more memories. How much time do I have? 30 minutes? Already? Clearly, the human body doesn't tolerate oxygen very well. Sometimes I wonder if it's a bad place to research. Look, he's waking up. He's opening his eyes, Professor Nichols, but he doesn't think he's conscious. Don't let your emotions to the bed. I think she's got a crush on 112. Shut up, boy! How many inhalations? 11.4, Professor. What they have here is an exceptional subject. The others do tolerate more than seven or eight. Indeed, his body appears receptive to hydroxide oxygen. Don't jump to conclusions. Nichols, what about the vital signs? Pulse 120, normal respiration. Pupils responding well. What about body temperature? Lloyd, did you take it? 38 degrees, 43. Ah, never mind. A light beam is often observed in receptors after inhalation. So Lloyd, you're teaching me my own specialization. Of course not, Professor. You're the boss of this life. Why don't you just tell me what's in this man's file? 28 years old, no fixed address, no medical history. A pretty thin profile. 
The army without requests? Yes. He has a sixth sense. Let's stay scientific. So, this man seems interesting. Very interesting, in fact. The time has come to send him on a visit to see our friend. So soon, Professor? One Twelve has been through more training than any other of the One Twelve receptors before. Therefore, yes, I repeat, it is time that he fulfills his mission. I will inform the service immediately. Stay strong. What happened? I fainted? No, I had a dream. I don't know. Maybe it's the hydroxide oxygen left in my bloodstream. Okay. Up we go. No comment for Jeff. Horrible. No. Who is that man? Professor Zeitfeld? That's his blouse, anyway. I think he's holding something. Wait. Yes. It's a magnetic card. It opens the secure door towards the next lab. I need it. I'm entering a new objective in the computer. Retrieve the magnetic card. Is the computer on? Do you need me to turn it on? Okay. Do you see that mist floating along the floor? That's hydroxide oxygen, but it's very concentrated. I can't inhale it in that form. I'd be dead in no time. Okay. Uh... Complete the first objective. Thing here. Okay, we have ourselves. Looks like is this. I don't know why I turned on there. The hydroxide oxygen is stored in the comparative experimental ethology lab. This door is the only way. I have to go in. Nothing doing. I need the card. Let's go get it. Okay. Uh Ooh, what is this view? Okay, that's where the door is. Whoa, that was close. What could have made a hole like this? Lights, please. Uh Okay, the lights are dead. Do you see any other way? Go into night vision mode. Better than nothing. Okay. Hold on, I have another idea. Turn on the calculator diodes one by one to light the way. Consult the area map. The machine should appear on it. There, that should work. Okay, uh... Turn off this, turn on this one. Ah, come on. Uh.
Okay, she's making her way. Oh. Finally, we're here. The door is locked. It's too solid. I can't force it open. I need the code to open it. Do you have it? Move the camera to answer. Of course you don't have the code. I hesitate giving it to you, but I think it's the only way. Too bad. I'll take the risk. First you have to access the system under my profile. The left banner contains fields for alias and password. In the first field, type my name, L. Nichols. I'll spell it. L dot N I C H O L S. Uh. Now my password. Oh, wait. I don't remember it. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. Eurythmia. Can you spell it? E U R Y T H M I A. Uh. Okay. I was wondering. L. N. Can you spell again? Again, my name is L. Nichols. My password is Eurythmia. Oh, there's a dot between the L. <laughs> Forgot to say again. Okay. Are you in my personal record? No. No? What's the holdup? I didn't know where the... I thought the input was beside the thing, not underneath it. Say again. Can you say again? We are in Professor Zeitfeld's chemical ecology laboratory. The only way to retrieve the magnetic card is to take control of the robot assistant. Uh, okay, that's not what I was looking for. Thank I you. I don't know if I was right to trust you. Well, I need you to say your thing again. You said, like, twice already. Could you, you know, say it again? Oh my god. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here and wait, unfortunately. Again, my name is L. Nichols. My password is Eurythmia. Eurythmia? A tab called Collaborators should have appeared. Click on it. Now click on my profile picture. Done? All right. Now you're in my personal record. The door code should be in it. Memorize it. Now, open the area map and click on the door. The system will prompt you for its code. Enter it. Got it? Hey, I'll let you do it. I'm busy looking at your information. Treatment of receptors 87 to 112. 112 comes up again. 1943. When does this game take? Are place? you following me? No, I'm the busy. The code is in my personal record. You have to enter it after clicking on the door on the map. 203. 251803. All right, you opened it. Thanks. We have to get in there. But how? Okay. We have to get in there, but how? Oh, wrong camera. Okay, this is a bit of an odd camera angle. Oh, this one I'll enter move. my alias and password. You'll find it in my shared folders. There's a zoom add-on for the camera. It should be here since it wasn't in John's room. John was a close colleague of Professor Zeitfeld. He often visited the chemical ecology laboratory. All right, we have to get our hands on the add-on. Do you have it? Excellent. And what's this? We'll see to that later. Let's take care of the add-on first. It needs to load. Done.
I've got it. Can you connect yourself to the camera? It should be possible from the area map. Great. Whoa. <laughs> Seems in. <laughs> Oh, this oh. is the robot I was telling you about. But to enable it, we need a code. Professor Zeitfeld must have noted it in his personal record. Let's try to access the system under his profile. Enter the professor's name in the alias field at the top left of the screen. M. Zeitfeld. M. Dot Z. E. I. T. F. E. L. Now his password. Do you have it? No? He had a bad memory, so he wrote it down somewhere for sure. It can't be far. Let's look for it. Okay. Let me just... Can I just take a moment to read these? You're like, you, you keep pushing me along. The mission service director welcomes you to Eden Base. You are now part of... A like first I said, class Professor Zyka had a very bad Shh. memory. Look at each file. His password and Shush. access code should definitely be in his sensitive oh files. Oh my god. You don't, this, is, this game is not giving me a chance to actually read through its lore. But Eden is also a high security military complex subject to the authority of the army's elite corps. This pamphlet highlights key rules of procedure of which a full copy is available at the registration office. First deck room 8A89 is forbidden for base personnel to communicate with the outside be it in any form, mail, radio, during service hours. All exits are restricted and maintained at the discretion of the security chief. All research data remains the exclusive property of military. It is expressly, expresses, expressly forbidden to make personal copies or divulge to their contents outside of the base. All infrastructions are punishable. Outside the tanker, researchers are urged to maintain careful like I discretion said, about Professor the nature Professor had a very purpose. bad memory. Look at each file. His password and access code should definitely be in his sensitive files. Okay. Excuse me. I'm just gonna... Like I said, Professor Zeitfeld had a very... <laughs> we'll turn that back up later. Um, the Eden Project is the culmination of years of research in the field of applied biology. The starting point of this great scientific enterprise was a unique discovery, a yet undiscovered and unknown animal species inhabiting the Earth's subterranean galleries related to ar arthropods in their structure. Tyriids have a unique trait of secreting a chemical substance with remarkable properties, hydroxide oxygen, which was synthesized for the first time by Professor Alan Morin in 1964. Extensive research has since proven its beneficial effects of the human organism. Suppression of the aging process. Oh, interesting. Regulation of vital functions, regression of acute diseases, some of which categorized as incurable. Unfortunately, its high toxicity eliminates for now any pharmacological or pharmacological applications. The goal of the Eden Project is to develop an attenu attenuated form of hydroxide oxygen more easily assimilated by the human or organism for mass production. Okay, I think I'm actually also going to have to end the set here, so I'm going to continue the readings for next set, turn her voice back on, and then continue looking for this, the, the code. So, Thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!